What is up guys? I'm The Real Deal. I'm a free-to-play endgame player with 2.5 years experience under my belt and this is my one key brutal team comp. I'm going to try and show you just the team, uh, just the builds and the masteries in under two minutes. Let's go. First up we've got Sissy of Flame Tongue, who is an absolute beast for Hydra. Um, she's in a reflex set so she cycles for her abilities nice and quickly. Um, the stats that we really care about are HP, defense, speed and accuracy. Um, skills, you want to be fully booked with Brimstone and then Masteries, we're just taking Accuracy, Survivability and then anything that increases our turn meter. So these are very unique Masteries for her but they are. Next up we've got Nekmo in um, Perception and Speed. He is also really good for Hydra, um, keeping the Hydra really slow but keeping our team very fast. Um, same again, HP, Defense, Speed and Accuracy, that's all we care about on him. Um, doesn't have to be fully booked, A2, A3 and Brimstone. And then very standard masteries, just care about accuracy, a little bit of turn meter boost, and then just doing damage on the left hand side. So it's almost essential for Cantra to be in Relentless. Um, she needs to keep debuffs up the whole time to keep the head of cleansing under wraps with that provoke. Um, you can put in reflex as well as another option. Um, so HP, defense, speed, accuracy are the main stats we want to focus on. And then you can focus on crit rate after. Um, fully booked. And then Mastery is just, once again, Accuracy and Damage. Next up we got Elva um, in Regen Set and uh, Protection just because I've got really good rolls on that gear. But it's all about just keeping her really fast. So same again, Defense, HP, Super Fast and Resistance. Um, only needs A2 and A3. And then Mastery is just about her cycling for her abilities because that A3 um, is got really low cooldown. And we've taken Timely Intervention. So basically anytime someone dies, um, our turn will get boost and that means we can cycle around our abilities again and get people back up. So Shamble number three, he is in Guardian and Protection set and it's all about him being really slow and tanky. We've also got a Blood Shield ring on him as well. So if you can get any of those accessories, that is an added bonus. Um, so lots of HP, bit of defense, really slow and then um, resistance so he can tank the head of Mischief if he does get, because he's going to be doing counter attacks, fully booked. And then Masteries, just all about survivability and then damage going down into Giant Slayer. So my Husk isn't built the best, he is in like just random pieces. Um, ideally he would be in Savage Gear, but you want substats over gear sets on him. Um, so we've got 67k HP, uh, you want a bit of defense, um, speed, crit rate capped, and then as much crit damage as possible. And then a bit of accuracy, just so if Cantra does not land her Provoke, he can come in with his A1 and step in and help. And we've got Crushing Ren, fully booked. And then Masteries, just going down for counter-attack. And then down into War Masters, so we can do as much damage as possible. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace!